This method can answer key questions in archaeology, paleontology, and ecology, such as domesticated animal diets, animal management strategies, and animal mobility. The main advantage of this technique is that it is relatively non-destructive and that it is focused on a material that is reasonably resistant to chemical changes in the burial environment. Individuals new to this method will struggle because there are no available visual aids for the sampling of paleontological and archaeological remains of humans and animals. Visual demonstration of this method is critical because it is difficult to learn and practice on archaeological materials is limited. To begin bulk sampling, set up a handheld drill as outlined in the text protocol, with a clean diamond-tipped drill of even shape attached via a chuck to the drill setup. Using the drill, clean the outer surface of the tooth by gentle abrasion. Next, tear a 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube on an appropriately accurate balance. Then, place clean aluminum foil or weighing paper under the drill to collect the enamel powder. Use the drill to deliver gentle and even abrasion, creating a groove parallel to the entire growth axis. Be aware that the amount of sample powder drilled will vary depending on the equipment used for analysis, the pretreatment protocol, and the size of the tooth. Collect the resulting enamel powder and transfer it into a 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube. Record both the sample number and enamel weight in a laboratory notebook as well as an electronic database.